start the music. Man, I was in the middle of making a video, Random Rides with Dad, I think is what I call it, and Angel called me and made my video stop. Can't see my hands. How dare she? I called her first, though, to ask if she wanted Smoothie King or if she wanted Starbucks, and she said Starbucks. I really want both. I want a smoothie because it's delicious and it'll fill me up, and I want a coffee because it's relaxing and it tastes good. Caramel Ribbon Crunch. Delicious. And I actually got some caramel at home that I add to it because they don't ever add enough caramel. But my only problem with Starbucks is, well, obviously it's expensive, but two, I wish their larges were bigger. Like, if their larges were the size of a Smoothie King large, then I would be super stoked. But they're not. It makes me want to get two drinks for myself and then one for Angel. But, alas, too much money. I, I, was, I was saying to her, I could get Smoothie King and Starbucks, but that'll be like $40, $50. Um, I don't need to shell out that kind of money. I really am a slave to my taste buds. Like, whatever I'm craving, I usually spend the money if I have it to get it. It's a really bad habit. That's a really weird cover art for this song. And it's definitely not correct. That's weird. Wish you could see it. Anyway. I spend all my free time doing stupid shit. And I could probably be a star if I tried a little harder at it. That's like me. Not in like the rap industry, the music industry at all. But like, career-wise. I could probably be more of an important person or more of a well-known person if I actually had the energy to put in more effort. Not that I don't put in the effort into my career. I definitely do. Um, but if I wasn't as tired, it would probably help with that significantly. I would probably be less anxious and I would probably take on bigger projects that's, you know, make me nervous now. I could get up semi-frequently uh, to do really important demos and... Most of the time I turn them down because uh, I'm just really, really nervous about doing like in-person presentations or demos for like hundreds of people. I just, my anxiety gets the best of me. If I wasn't as tired, I, I don't think I'd be as nervous and I'd probably take those chances and probably be a little bit more well-known in my field. But I mean, I have more connections on LinkedIn than I do on Facebook or friends on Facebook. I think I've like... I don't know, 140 friends on Facebook, which still seems like too much to me. LinkedIn, I think I have like over three, 400 connections, something like that. But my posts on LinkedIn get way more engagement than my Facebook posts. So, not a bad problem to have. I like LinkedIn. It's not bad. Again, if I wasn't as tired, I'd probably be more engaging in, on LinkedIn and create more engaging posts and cultivate an audience better, but I'm tired. Party my life away, leave all my worries behind. Ah man, this is on my so this is on my like songs. That's what I'm playing right now because uh, I want to put a big list of all the songs that I like to just shuffle through. But this is also on my playlist called "Shit That's Good." Like, not shit that's good. It's shit that's comma that's good. You know what I mean? Um, and I remember when I, start, when I started that playlist. You better turn it down. It's the only opportunity. Good job. Um, and yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, Tesla in an interesting color. That was like a bronze color. Still, I really want a Tesla. To be out of my mind. I think they make an SUV. That's what I need. Tesla SUV. I mean, I don't need it, but I would like it. No oil changes and shit. Fucking solid. Party my life away. Leave all the worries behind. Yeah. Anyway, that's almost up. We've got the next song. What we got? Necrogoblicon. No one survives. But Zelda actually likes this song. No, wait, she likes Bears by Necrogoblicon. Bears! I I can't sing Bears for shit, so I'm not gonna try. This is a good one. If you look up Necrogoblicon, No One Survives. Watch the music video, and it's that's uh, the wrong way to do that. There we go. It's fucking good music video. The the it follows a goblin as the main character. It's a short. It's a music video. It's not very long, but the main character is goblin, obviously. Next goblin, 
who works in an office and like it starts with him like waking up late, hitting a bong, getting to work, going to being late for a presentation, scattering his papers everywhere on accident, falling, just you know, uh, not a good. Uh, he's not having a good day, and it, it ends with like him at a bar drinking alone, and his coworkers are there celebrating some chick's birthday, and uh, he goes out the back door, I guess, to like go home, and he sees. Uh, this dude beating the shit out of this chick and his like goblin instinct kicks in and he tackles the fucking dude and his, his goblin nails are like this fucking long and they're like razor sharp and it's just him going like this fucking stabbing the guy like hundreds of times and blood getting everywhere and then he finally like calms down gets out of the rage and looks up at the chick and he's like eh? and she just fucking screams it's, it's a great music video do I want to go to Starbucks Starbucks or do I want to go what the fuck are you doing Fucking dumbass. Um, I'm trying to I want to go to the Starbucks Starbucks or I want to go to the one in Kroger. I guess we're going to the one in Kroger. Jesus fucking Christ. My guy's a fucking idiot. Anyway, get in your lane, please. Thank you. I don't want to get into a car accident. I don't think Angel would be happy with me. If it was my fault, obviously. If, if someone hit me, she wouldn't be like, here, you suck. But if it was me, she'd probably be like, you were on your phone making a video, weren't you? I'd be like, no. I don't make videos when I drive. That would be irresponsible. Anyway, different song. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I heard this song. I was in uh, business class. And this chick, I remember her name. I was listening to something on her iPod. Do you remember those iPods? Which I really want. I really want an iPod. Uh, and she showed me this song. MIA, Paper Planes. Flying like paper, get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come around here, yeah, I'll make a long day. I'll give one done in a second if you wait. Sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every step I get. This car is just trying to speed up to be a dick. My, my road rage has gotten a lot better than it used to be. I used to be, like, bad at road rage. Um, and over the last two or three years, I've chilled out a lot. So I'm like, what's the point of road raging? Like, there's no good thing that's going to come from it. They're not going to go faster or get out of the way or whatever. I'm just going to be... Like, the only there's only downsides. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So... Like if, now if people are like riding my ass and I'm driving, even if I'm by myself, uh, I'll try and just find like a neighborhood or something and I'll just pull off and let them pass me. There's no point in getting mad and raging. Nothing good is going to come from it. So, yeah. It only took however old I am to become the bigger person in certain scenarios. Notice I said certain scenarios. Certain scenarios I'm not the bigger person. But I try to be sometimes. Oh. My mom told me to be a bigger person the other day. Not the other day, it was like a, week, like a month ago. Um, she called me and told me to, uh, come on. Told me to call my sister. And tell her I said congratulations on her business valuation being evaluated at like half a million dollars or something. And I was like, I'm not gonna call her. I'm not gonna do that. She was like, why? And I was like, she hadn't fucking I mean, she hadn't said sorry for calling me a fucking asshole because she misunderstood what I said. I was like, I'm not gonna fucking talk to someone that treats me like shit. She's like, Taylor, just be the bigger person. I was like, I'm always the bigger person. Especially when it comes to family, I'm always the bigger person. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fuck her. Anyway. Don't call me a fucking asshole when I didn't do anything. I didn't when that originally happened. And then a week later, was our mom's, my mom was like, you know, you weren't being an asshole. And I was like, I really wasn't though. I said something which got misconstrued and she took it wrong and she got mad and called me a fucking asshole and told me to leave. It wasn't even her house. Like, not doing it. Normally, like, if I'm in the wrong, I might not necessarily think so in the moment, but if you give me a little bit of time, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I was kind of shitty. I should probably apologize. No, I'm being shitty. I just said something she took the wrong way. 
like it was the the wording that I used came out differently. I'm like, whatever. So I haven't really talked to my sister in like four years, something like that. That's not that, that that's not that long ago. I haven't talked to my dad in like fourteen years. Fourteen years, something like that. Yeah. The last thing I ever heard from my dad was him telling me never to call or talk to him again. I was homeless in Dallas, Texas at a Waffle House with my brother calling to ask if he could give me a hotel for the night. And he said, don't call or talk to me again. And then dipped out. I was like, well, okay. So, parents. Was this Pink Spiders? Yeah, Modern Swinger. Was it the Pink? Yeah, it was the Pink Spiders. I saw, I went to Warped Tour one time. And the Pink Spiders were there, uh, and we we're outside like their uh, bus or trailer or whatever. And I don't remember who said it, but it was like someone from that was like out, uh, like not I don't know, I think of what's the word. Someone who was like related to the band, not like a manager, but like in charge of them or whatever, or like in charge of facilitating, like getting stuff signed and stuff. Uh, was like they don't want to come out and talk to fans, so fuck off. And I was like, wow, they're fucking rude. I got to see the horror pops, which was cool. And against me. Oh, what was the other band? Not the Necromancers. I don't, I don't remember. There's another band I saw that was cool too. But against me was the main person. It was pretty fucking dope. I had really long hair back then. I was in like, I don't know, eighth, ninth grade. Hair was like down to here. My sister took me. It was fun. But he has a gone crash. Baby smoking sandpaper. Screaming, catch me if you can with a cigarette and his love. I'm glad I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. But sometimes I miss them. Just, I don't know. Something about them. Don't smoke, kids. Don't vape either. I would like to quit vaping. I'm starting to become acutely aware of my health and how easily it's going to decline in the next 10 to 15 years, especially with my eating habits. I need better eating habits. I just, sugar's really my biggest enemy. Sing a rubber hornet in your arm, yeah. Another modern swinger screaming, catch me if you can with a cigarette in hand, it's love. Anyway, my eating habits suck. I'll eat a tub of Dunkaroo frosting for breakfast. That's not fucking healthy. I'm gonna get diabetes. I should have stopped at the, the actual Starbucks instead of going to the Kroger Starbucks because now I have to go in. Oh, I'm, I'm going. Don't turn red, don't turn red, don't turn red. Ah, yellow. Anyway. Yeah. I should just not go to Starbucks altogether and save my money. That way I have money. But I'm really craving something sugary and sweet. Caramel. At least I don't have to get Bilbo a cake pop. She's not going to be at the house. If I go to Starbucks for me and Angel, I'll usually get Bilbo a cake pop. Because, uh, you know, that's fair. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Love comes first. Love place on earth. It's a good song. I know it's good. It's a good song. Bittersweet Symphony. Silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. Me and my buddy Corey used to listen to this all the time. Another person I don't talk to. How long has that been? Two, three years? Something like that? Shit happens. I'm down to one friend. Not like I started with a lot. I had maybe like four, five. Now I'm down to one. That makes it sound like I just stopped talking about it. Like one, one ex friend or whatever. I think we had this video with Angel on this one, but uh was talking shit about Angel at a, not like a, it was someone's birthday party or something. I was talking shit about Angel being like, you know, why doesn't she work and Taylor has to do everything and she's useless and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I don't know how you think that was going to go talking shit about my wife, but it definitely didn't go how you expected. It's like, she doesn't work because she doesn't have to. Like, we're fortunate enough that I make enough money that it's cheaper for her to stay home and take care of the baby than it is to put her in daycare and Angel work. It would cost us more money for Angel to work. So... I don't know how he thought that was going to go, but now we're not friends, so, whatever. But the one friend I do have is a good friend, like, pretty, pretty good friend, so, you know, quality over quantity.
at least in my opinion. I guess it depends on what you're talking about. Friends, quality over quantity. Other things, it's a thing by thing basis, I think. Sometimes I like quantity over quality. Oh, I would like to turn right. Oh, cool, you're getting out of the way. We're skin bay. Now gangs tried to kill us, but we wouldn't take flight. Oh, brass knuckles and rusty knives kept the wolves at bay. And we play in traffic downtown, turn it up and take me away. Anyway, random rise of dad, number five billion, because I forget the number, so I'm just gonna put the date. I'm gonna go get some coffee, maybe make another video. It'll only be a short video, because Starbucks is close to my house, but anyway, peace out.